Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's adventure, Boomer and I are out on a hiking adventure with a hot tent, as you guys can see behind me. Very unique hot tent, absolutely love this thing. We've got the wood stove, we've got the tent, the sleeping pad, the sleeping bag set up. Home is ready for the night. Now it's time to get started on a hot drink. And I brought something a little different for this adventure. Not a canister stove, we're not gonna be making coffee right yet on the wood stove. We're going to be doing something a little bit different, so let me get some kit out of the backpack, get some things together, and start on a coffee.
All right guys, I just finished up with my coffee. I've got the twig stove lit and burning quite slow. I don't want this burning very hot because I don't want it to spit embers towards the tent. The wind is blowing this way, but at the same time, I'd like to keep some coals in there because I do plan on cooking my supper on the twig stove out here in the open rather than being tucked inside the tent. Speaking of which, I've got my saw. It's time to go collect some firewood because it is getting quite a little bit later in the day and it's getting dark and I do need to get that wood collected and prepped ready for the wood stove before nightfall hits. That way when it's time to light the wood stove and hunker inside the tent, I'll have a little bit of warmth and some light. So I'm just gonna put one or two more pieces of kind of punky hardwood into this twig stove just to give it a little bit of coal base and hopefully that won't take off and burn too fast. That'll give me a little bit of time to go collect some firewood, bring it back here, get it cut, split, and set inside of the tent next to the wood stove.
All right, guys, so I've got the wood stove loaded up, ready to go for later on this evening. I'm turning my attention back over towards my twig stove. I am getting very warm back and forth, cutting wood, chopping and splitting and doing all that stuff, but the night air is starting to set in. The mosquitoes are still out, so that's the reason why I'm loading a little bit more twigs inside of this twig stove to get this smoke rolling. I am gonna be cooking on this. My food is very simple, very quick and easy to cook in the pot on the twig stove. There are no clouds up above either, so I'm hoping the stars come out and I'll actually be able to sit outside, maybe back up against this tree and just kind of have the twig stove flicker in flames. It's not very cold out, so the, the wood stove ideally is just going to be for cooking, getting a little bit warm in the morning and the late evening and kind of burning off a little bit of the, of the moisture and condensation. It is an open sky, but it is getting colder in the evening, so condensation is a thing that actually happens right now. I'm going to be entering the far end of the tent, not towards the wood stove. There are two entrances on this tent, so I'll be going in the other end and zipping the door shut when I need to. Boomer's inside the tent right now asleep, so I don't know. He's, he's tired, so he's inside sleeping right now. I don't know if he's going to be out later on, but I'm sure he'll wake up once the fire's lit. Um, this is doing a really good job of keeping these mosquitoes out of here. Like I said, it's not terribly warm. It's not terribly cold out. So I am working up a sweat and I do want to cool off a little bit. So I'm just going to relax for a few minutes, get this thing going a little bit more flames and maybe turn my attention to food very soon. I just want to make sure everything around camp is cleaned up so I'm not going to lose anything later on this evening. I've got my cup and spoon over here. I've got my headlamp. I've got my lantern. Everything is ready to go for nightfall, which ideally is quickly approaching. So I want to be ready for that, get all this stuff taken care of. And I mean, the twig stove is very easy to feed. It's literally just twigs all over the forest floor here, all over the ground. So I'm just going to keep feeding these in here, getting some of those dry smoke rolling, and we'll take the evening from there.
All right, guys, I've got the wood stove going pretty decent right now. It's actually rocking out a ton of heat. I've got the front draft open, the side drafts wide open. I'm about to damp it down just a little bit because I've got a base coal built up in there right now. And I want to get some of these rounds on here so I could actually tone down the burn and not burn through a lot of this wood very quickly. I am burning softwood. So that's the reason for the really long chimney is I don't want embers falling on top of my tent. So put a glove on here and uh, crack this door. I'm going to close one of the vents on the side just to slow down the burn rate and see if we can get this to burn really low and slow, which it does. It's very good at doing. It's just this type of wood that I've got in here. I want to be really careful with it that I don't burn the, the tent. It is dry out right now. The tent is not wet. Usually in the winter time when the tent's got a little bit of snow or wetness on it, embers land on top. It really doesn't matter because it basically goes out with the, the moisture. But right now it's totally dry out here. So I want to keep a very close eye on this. Boomer is inside right now sleeping on top of my sleeping pad, just soaking in the heat from the stove. So he's comfortable. I'm not going to bother him. I do have my light on. That is ready to go. I've got my headlamp ready to go next to the stove as well. Everything is cleaned up, so I'm basically ready to kick back and relax. All right guys, so finally inside of the tent, many hours later, it is total darkness outside. As you guys can see, very comfortable inside right now. Uh, Boomer's behind me, kind of hiding from the camera right now in a weird way. So I do have this insulated foam kind of mat here. This is for Boomer to sleep on. For some reason, he doesn't want to lay on it right now. I'm assuming the wood stove is too hot, so that's totally fine. If he wants to chill out on the back side, that's okay. Um, I've got a load of firewood in here right now, and this material on the tent is scorching hot. Like, almost too hot to touch. So I'm actually going to damp the stove down because it seems like it's burning really, really hot. I've, uh, I've processed a lot of wood down into, like, cubes. So I've been outside doing that the last little while, softwood and stuff. So I've got a lot of stuff prepped and, and basically processed down. The stove is cranking out a ton of heat, probably too much heat to be honest. So I'm going to let that burn down. I just stoked it up moments ago. I'm going to let that burn down, do its thing. And um, yeah, basically just get comfortable. <laughs> I've got to get out of this hoodie because I just got inside the tent. I have a, another pair of socks that I want to change into, but I'm just waiting for that to damp down because it's really hot. Out of the sweater, I've got the mesh panel open here and uh, just, like I said, getting a feel for the temperature right now. I just closed the doors and it is crazy hot. I'm actually going to unzip that to allow a lot of the heat to get out. Beginning of hot tent season, it's always hot tenting, very, very much hot at the beginning of the season so unfortunately when you first light your stove or stoke your stove up it's going to get very very hot and then damping it down you've got to do it in a safe manner because if you just shut the damper the smoke can leak inside of the tent which is not safe and not smart so you have to kind of let your stove get through its initial flare up process to get down to the coals and then you can slow burn it so right now i'm still in the flare up process and it is crazy hot Holy, like that fabric is very, very warm. Um, I'm gonna let it do its thing for a few moments and uh, keep an eye on it, very close eye on it. So I'm basically done for the night. I'm inside, I wanna relax. I got my phone in here. I do have some movies saved on my phone, which I'm gonna watch tonight. I'm gonna prop it up on my hiking boots right here and um, watch the fire from the side view, watch a movie, enjoy that, and go to sleep, and then get up, and I'll see you guys in the morning for coffee. Probably be doing that on the wood stove. I may do it outside, depending on the weather and the temperature. 
we will see but uh yeah really great night outside full of stars out there the sky is absolutely full of stars um very very nice guy so i will catch up with you guys first thing in the morning with coffee keep an eye on this and uh just gonna enjoy some tent life tonight guys so catch you in the morning
Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful, quiet, and calm, cool type morning today. So I've got my back leaned up against a tree, cup of hot coffee. I've got the wood stove and the tent crackling just in front of me. And believe it or not, I can actually feel the heat from the stove rolling out of the tent on my legs and a bit on my chest. That thing is putting out some heat. So late last night, the stars were out. The sky was just glittering like a disco ball full of stars. Incredible. Laid out here for a little bit, sat up against a tree, staring out at the sky. Had the tent glowing with that wood stove through the forest. Absolutely awesome. I totally miss hot tent season, and I'm really glad that we're back in it. The very early stages of it, but I'm glad that we're back in a hot tent season. There's just something about it, just watching the smoke roll out of the chimney, the sound, the smell, the feel, the whole process of being primitive and breaking the sticks and jamming them in the stove and cutting your knuckles and burning your fingertips and just everything about it is just incredible. So I've got my uh, traditional cooksa cup, my wooden cup today. Uh, the downside with this is you can't put it on the stove to reheat your coffee. The bonus part is the wood actually insulates it quite a bit and oddly enough my 450 mil titanium cup lid actually fits on top of this cooksa really well so if i did want to put a lid on there i could uh, today i have my cutting board i could put that on top to help keep it warm setting this next to the wood stove does keep the drink warm quite a long time even in the winter and it's just a nice real traditional feel so i like getting into that stuff this time of year and just enjoying myself so i'm just staring at the smoke rolling out of this chimney pipe and uh yeah i see the flames flickering through the sides of the stove which is just incredible so i'm going to relax this morning and enjoy my cup of coffee right here boomer's laying down right next to me nice and protected uh he hears some weird birds and he doesn't know what they are so he's kind of looking like what's that noise but uh yeah anyways cheers guys good morning and i'm going to kick back and enjoy this coffee All right guys, morning coffee is all finished up with. The sun is starting to come out and the temperature is actually starting to rise a little bit. And it is that time to start packing up. So I'm just gonna get some of my things out of the tent here. And I've let the wood stove cool down quite a while so it's safe to touch bare hands. And uh, yeah, it's basically time to start packing up. So I'm gonna try and do the big things first. The wood stove I want to take care of right away and then I can do my sleeping pad, the sleeping bag, get all of my small things organized, configured, and then start the tent tear down. The tent has to go in the backpack second. The way I've got everything organized here, the stove goes in, the tent, and that opens up a cavity to then stuff everything down and around it. It is a little bit of a hassle because this tent is rather large when it's packed down, but it is absolutely worth it totally love this tent so I'm gonna get started on that and hopefully this will go without any issues
All right, guys, I've got everything packed inside of the backpack, a very large and heavy backpack, I will add. Uh, the tent on this adventure is a large tent. It is a heavy tent, but it is absolutely incredible. The wood stove that I chose on this adventure is also not a light one. It is large, it is heavy, but it's very quick to set up, very quick to pack down. And everything else in here is kind of customary to how I like the camp, my ax, my saw, couple things here and there. The twig stove worked really well. I'm really glad I brought that. I haven't used one in quite a while. And that was a DIY project. I found that basket at a local dollar store. Just drilled some holes in, put some tent pegs in for a pot stand. And uh, yeah, it works great. There's fuel all around here as long as you're allowed to have fires in your area. So that is basically it for this adventure. Boomer is taking a nap just behind me in the sun in the bushes. So He's got to get woken up, and we've got to get out of here and get the video out to you guys. So thank you very much for joining me, and I'll catch you in the next adventure.